What does it mean to be a jujitsu black belt? To me, it's sort of cliche, but they say you don't start learning till you get to black belt, but I sort of found this to be the truth because say at brown belt, we already know what our jujitsu game is. We know what we're looking for, blah, blah, blah. We get to black belt and then we're like, okay, what's next? This is when I really started thinking about not what I'm trying to do, but why I'm trying to do it and where I'm trying to get to. Thinking about these deeper, more philosophical questions sort of lead you to understanding just more about the sport of jujitsu in general. So so if you're a black belt and you start thinking about why I'm doing this and where I'm looking to get to, then rather than focus on the minute details of each different situation and thinking about, oh, where I should put my leg here, what should I do there? It's more of just an overarching theme of what we're looking for that'll guide us towards doing the correct moves. For example, once I got to black belt, I started focusing more on the top position and I was wondering why am I focused on the top position? It's from my instructor, Keenan Cornelius. He sort of implanted in me that when you're on top, you got gravity on your side and you can wear your opponent out slowly over time, which is gonna make all positions and submissions come easier once you deplete their stamina. So knowing this concept, I'm able to take it and sort of translate to other avenues of jujitsu as well, where we focus on the game of fatigue rather than just focusing on getting the submission, just beating the guy. Thinking about why things work and where you're trying to get is crucial, I believe, rather than just thinking about what we're doing in situation to situation. So to get promoted to black belt, uh, it's different for all different people. So for example, if you're a competitor, it might take a bit longer than a non-competitor, or it might be quick if you're just going and smoking everyone up through all the competitions. But the criteria to get a black belt in general, I'd say everyone's got their A game, everyone's got the game that they're trying to play. But if you're a black belt, you need to also know about the games that you don't play that might not fit your body type, might not fit your personality, might not fit your skill set. You need to know, at least know about these things in order to go and share that knowledge to others. And again, just understand you did two more as a whole rather than thinking about what you're doing in spot to spot. So for me personally, it took me 12 years to get to black belt. This is a long time. And towards the end of it, definitely I was like, man, when am I gonna get the black belt? Like I wanna, you know, it's one of those things that you don't wanna harp on it too much, but after a while, you will sort of think about it and you're like, okay, you know, I'm about ready for it. And in the end, I'm really glad I didn't because A, it doesn't even matter literally at all. It's like, I'm still doing jujitsu against guys who are doing jujitsu. So why not just get better at jujitsu and have that be the focus? I'm a competitor. I started competing a little bit later in my jujitsu career. Once I graduated from college in 2017, I, uh, I'd already been training for about seven years at that point, but then I, I wanted something to look forward to outside of the day-to-day -day work. So I started competing. So for me, it might've taken a bit longer as well because my competition experience was lacking compared to my opponents. Even though I had the jujitsu knowledge, competing is a whole different skill set. So I had to increase my belt ranking in competition before getting the black belt ranking in jiu-jitsu, I'd say. So the day I got promoted to black belt was pretty crazy because at my school, Legion, they sort of do it secretly. So you'll show up and you don't really realize that you're gonna get a black belt. But it was funny because my dad kept blowing me up that day and he was trying to ask, am I going to jujitsu? Am I gonna be there? He doesn't always come by and watch or whatever, but I guess he was saying he was in town and wanted to come stop by this day. I was like, okay, I was maybe gonna take today off, but I guess if you're gonna be around, I'll go in there. Went to training, had a decent day. It wasn't maybe my best day of training, but wasn't the worst, but that doesn't even matter at all. And then, you know, before you know it, the speech starts and I sort of got a clue as to what was going on and then busted out the black belt, lo and behold. A bunch of my buddies were there to see it at Legion, which was great. And then what was also awesome was either the next day or two days later, I went to my old uh, jiu-jitsu school under Rodrigo Medeiros at PB Fight Center. And uh, so I got my black belt in Legion in Nogi because that's what I'm mainly focusing on these days. But at my older school at under Rodrigo, it was a lot of gi training. So that was cool because then, yeah, the next day I went over there, wore the gi, and then had, you know, my first instructor, Rodrigo, retie the black belt on my waist. It was great to get the black belt validation from obviously Keenan my current coach, and then Rodrigo as well, my older coach. And yeah, it was a solid day. And then I got home later that day and realized ain't shit changed and trained the next day.